Hey everyone, welcome to this little tutorial on how to use the Coral Pinnacle Dazzle DVD H Recorder HD. Because hopefully uh, this video comes out uh, a little bit after my PS2 footage comes out. Um, because, you know, I want people to look at that video and be like, Oh, how did, you know, Carolyn be able to, you know, you know showcase that to get the footage and so I thought that it'd be cool to do a uh, tutorial on how to set it up and record with it with OBS and such so without further ado here is the tutorial all right so here is what you're going to need in order to actually be able to work with uh, being able to record the footage at all. So, obviously, you're gonna need the Dazzle uh, device itself. Um, so you can, you know, record. That's the main thing to record it with. The second thing you're gonna need is, of course, the PlayStation 2 AV cable. So, you know, you can actually record the footage off the PS2. Then, item three, a double ended AV cable. Um, these are pretty easy to find. You can just find them on Amazon for cheap. I had one lying around, luckily, but still, nonetheless, they're probably pretty cheap. And last but not least, and very important, I want to say, is a three male to six female AV cable. This is very important, and I'll explain later why this is really important. But you're definitely going to need all of these, especially the last one, um, to be able to able to even start recording anything. So uh, yeah, this is what you needed. So let us go over to how to put it together. All right, so this is the how-to part of the video where I pretty much explain how to put everything together so things can work so first part what you're gonna need to do which should be pretty obvious is plug in the ps2 av cable to the ps2 it seems obvious but i feel like that should put it out just in case someone gets confused and i conveniently put a little red arrow if you can kind of see it you know just to show you how to do it i don't know uh you're gonna see a lot of arrows in these they're gonna probably be hard to see but i trust me they're there Next, um, what you're going to do is, again, should be self-explanatory, but I'll say it anyway, is plug in the Dazzle into the laptop. Again, fancy arrow again. But plug it into the laptop. And note, once you plug it in, if you haven't done it before, let, you know, do everything you need to do, whatever you got with it, if you got the disc version or not, whatever. Just, uh, you know, keep in mind that if it is working, it will start glowing blue it will light up so even though it doesn't look like it in the shot it looks purple but it is blue i trust trust me but yes it should be going blue if it isn't it probably still needs to download something so just keep that in mind next is where you know i should do some explaining a bit so pretty much one of the importance of why you need the three male to six female is you need to plug the three males or the you know part where you plug in stuff, you know, into the Dazzle, like so, like here, I, you know, I'm showing, and uh, then you plug in one end, doesn't matter what end, you just plug it in, and again, you see the arrows, you plug it in for this, this is the double-sided um, AV cable, which I, I'll explain why you, you need that in a second, but you plug that into one end of the double-sided AV cable. Then you plug it into the TV. This is where it gets the connection to the TV, where it can actually s record and see, you know, the visual stuff, you know, going on the TV. It's weird, but that's how it works. And you plug it into the designated spots. I also want to point out as well with this, you know, obviously a lot of modern TVs, they don't exactly sometimes do, you know, yellow to yellow, white to white red to red so keep in mind that if it helps you know l 
equals white. Red usually is, you know, red or, you know, R. I'll say in this case is R, so you can associate R to red. And then Y to video usually is, you know, yellow. You can put the Y is yellow, you know, and the R is red. L doesn't really fit the white, but sure, you can go with it. But keep that in mind. It's sometimes a pain, I know, to always plug these in. I know it's a pain just to have AV in general, considering. And I'll get to why at the end, why I decided to use this device. But anyway, the point is, that is how you should do it. And last, and certainly not least, the very important part is to plug the other side of the, you know, 3 male to 60 female with the PS2, you know, which again, I don't know, you know, it's not a self explanatory but, you know, that, that, that way it is. So, you plug it back to PS2, which again, that's not the right photo, but you get the general point. Um, but yes, once everything is together, um, you know, you should be good to go and whatnot. So the next part of this video is going to be me uh, showcasing how to record it on OBS. So I'll see you there. Hello and welcome to the part of the tutorial where I show you how to uh, record with the Dazzle with on OBS. Um, uh, it's pretty simple, it's actually not that really hard to do. Um, once you have everything plugged in correctly, of course, as I showed before. But, um, and it's not just PS2, I want to keep that in mind. You can do it with PS3, um, you can do it with the original PlayStation, Xbox, and such. Just anything that I think, you know, uses AV cables originally, uh, you should be able to record with most, uh, stuff like that. At least the older stuff. Newer stuff, not so much, but with... That in mind, as you can see, you can see my screen capture. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to, you know, do it real quick. So I already have them set up, but I'm going to show you just really quick how to do it a bit. So here, you go here, you would go to video capture device. And after you click like, of course, I'm clicking properties here. But realistically, after you click that, the screen will come up. And it comes under Roxo Video Capture USB. What you do is just, you know, click on it. It'd be fine. You should be able to just have a blue screen or some other thing. Obviously, my PlayStation is not on, but I'll show you in a second what it looks like with it on. Um, so, yeah, that's what you need to do for that part, for at least to show the video. For audio, it doesn't capture right away, so what you need to do is go down here, um, do input audio, uh, you know, as it shows right here again. I'd click on it, properties, but this screen would show up anyway. And, you know, there would be a couple of stuff, you know, probably be on default automatically, but uh, what you want to do is line Dazzle Video Capture USB Audio Device. And it should be good to go. Um, and once that is uh, established, you know, you get this screen um, here. You get, like, stuff to mess around with the audio. Uh, if you want, you know, if it's not loud enough, you know, you can turn it up. If you're not loud enough, you can turn your mic up or, you know, whatnot. So, here's the screen. Uh, I'll show you real quick the startup so you know, you know, what, know it works. If you see it right here, uh, and if it's not gray or anything, there's nothing loose or whatever, uh, everything should be good to go. My thing's not quite plugged in right. <laughs> there you go. That's better. See? You can see that it works. You can see everything being captured properly. You can show you my memory card, whatever. Just, you know, the show that works. See? Everything's being captured. Um, I don't know what the delay time is, but I think it's pretty good time. Um, I'm clicking immediately down and it's shifting, so that's good. Uh, even though I already tested it out, sometimes it's just sometimes you get lag, but for the most part, it should work well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's part of the tutorial, uh, you know, I showed of how to, again, capture on OBS. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'm gonna go on to the end card. I'll see you guys there. And there you have it. We're at the end of the video. I showed you how 
you know, what you needed and how to set it up and how to record it with OBS. So, I quite enjoyed this. Um, I kind of want to talk about why I decided to pick uh, the option I did. You know, you know, the Pinnacle Dazzle. Um, at the time, I was, you know, buying it. I did not have a HDMI uh, computer, which I do now, which I might look into in the future, but it's kind of expensive. And that's one of the reasons why I bought it. It was pretty dang cheap. It was like 30 or so bucks to buy. I don't know, my change, but... It was about, like, 30, maybe 40 bucks. It was pretty cheap. Um, and yes, it kind of obviously looks cheap. It is AV. And obviously it would be ideal to do HD, HDMI, but what can you do? I do want to try getting better at, you know, using it. This is not really a tutorial how to use it better. It's just how to set it up and everything. But hopefully one day I'll figure out, make it look better in quality, at least a little bit better quality. Um... But yes, I want to keep in mind, uh, besides PS2, you can also do it for PS3. If you want to save method, just plug it into the PS3, you know, because uh, it has AB out um, to PS3, which is convenient. So if you ever want to do it that way and you just don't have the budget for HDMI or whatever, then that's a good way to go. And it, it works pretty well. I think it works fine. It's pretty user-friendly for the most part. So pretty much my ultimate reasoning of pretty much getting it. It was cheap and user friendly, and you know, it gets a job note for me, so that's all that really matters. So, I'm gonna end the, this tutorial here. Um, if you liked it, like it, if you dislike this, like it, and you know, comment below. If you have any questions, I might try answering the best that I can. Again, I'm trying to still learn a lot about this device, but um, you know, I can answer the best that I can, or maybe there was something I didn't clarify well, or you know, whatnot. Just hit me up down there, I'll respond you know, to you, you know, I, I, I'm pretty good at that, I'll give, respond to you, um, or, you know, maybe any suggestions about either what I should record with the PS2, or PS3, if you want to add that to the list, or, you know, maybe suggestions on how to record it better, and, um, yeah, like it, like it, just like it, just like it, yes, and, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time, bye guys.